Good morning, guys. Eh, well, it's still technically morning. It's 11.46, so... <laughs> uh, we started cooking. Uh, we have some rice on and some chicken defrosting. So, we're going to mix that up and do what we normally do. So. Uh, I actually... A question was proposed to me yesterday by I Am Cubster. He wants me to talk about being a bear in the gay world, and he says he has trouble finding his niche in the subcultures, trying to figure out what he is and basically what the subcultures are. Yeah, I am, by some people I'm classified as a bear, some people I'm classified as a cub, other times I'm classified as a wolf. It, there's just so many subcultures that we make up for ourselves. Bears are normally bigger guys that are furry. Cubs are younger guys that are furry. And then you have wolves, which are hot guys and furry. I would love to be a wolf. But. <laughs> um, I didn't choose this sub subculture, this subtype for myself. It's just one that comes along. There are also twinks, which twinks are skinny young guys, usually hairless. They're not like super muscular, but they can be. Most of the time I classify a twink as a guy that's just skinny and hairless and young. There's a lot of different definitions for these things. Um, I've looked them up a couple times online. I might look them up again and read them off to you guys and what their definitions are. Um, most of the time, this, those subtypes are only used for trying to describe what you look like to people. Because a lot of times people are like, well, what do you look like? And they'll just say, well, I'm a blank. And it helps describe what you are. I'm usually described as a linebacker. <laughs> Which is funny because I never really played football. But, <coughs> yeah, that's pretty much the whole subculture thing. And everybody's trying to figure out where they fit in. And I usually just say, you are what you are. You don't need to have a title put to that. You can, but it's not as big of a thing. Now, there are subtypes for kinkier stuff, but I don't want to get into that. <laughs> Uh, they also asked uh, about my coming out story, which, my coming out story is kind of boring. <laughs> my coming out story, um, I always told myself I would never lie about it. If someone asked me, including my parents, I would be straightforward. A situation had come up and they asked if I had been in with any women and I truthfully said no. And then it's like, have you been with any guys? And it's like, yeah, but none of them would have caused this problem. And that's where it came out. It's like, yeah, I'm gay. Uh, my mom was upset about it, but I think it was more of a shock for her. My dad said he pretty much had expected it, because not because I act gay, look gay, sound gay, anything like that. It's just I'm not like normal guys around girls. I'm not subjecting them. I'm not going, oh, they're hot. <laughs> Nothing like my brother. <laughs> no offense to him. I love my brother. And me and him are completely opposites when it comes to that sort of thing. But yeah, my coming out story was pretty simple. I haven't come out to a lot of people, but that's just because they've never asked. It's like when it comes to work and stuff, I don't bring it up. I don't tell people automatically, hey, I'm gay. I just kind of go around a lot of things. It's like if they ask, it's like, so what are you interested in girls? I sit there and say, I have a very complicated type. Sort of thing like that. I never say I'm into girls. I never say I'm into guys. But if someone asks, it's like, are you gay? I won't lie about it. I tell the truth. Um, I do feel that there's a little bit of a stigma about being gay. That you don't want to come out to your work. Because then problems can arise there. But I work with a lot of great people, so I wasn't afraid of it. Um, <coughs> as you can tell, I still have my cough. Last night wasn't fun. I didn't want to take NyQuil, but I took, like, chloroseptic and mouthwash and stuff like that to help numb my throat. Huh? But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see if I can come up with a little bit more for the subculture stuff, because that is a big thing. And it's kind of funny because we'll use those terms like twink around straight people and they'll be like, a what? And they don't understand what it is. But uh, I'm going to go hop in the shower while everything is defrosting and cooking and 
get cleaned up because I have to be at work at 3 today. So, Time to get my day started. I really sounded like I just said time to get my day started. Time to get my day started. I swear I can speak English. Hey guys, rice is done cooking and the chicken is defrosted. So now I have it chopped up with some onions and some tiger sauce that Barb gave me for Christmas. It's a little spicy, so I'm going to use a little, little few dashes of it in there with some adobo. To, and it smells awesome. It's definitely going to give it some interesting flavor. The wind's picking up outside and I keep hearing the tree or bush or some plant. If you can see it, yeah. Tapping against the house and it sounds weird. So, Yeah, it's been kind of rainy today, but it's just going to make everything kind of soggy. Yeah, soggy. <coughs> but Tom also wants me to use this, which is cilantro cooking base. So I'm going to use some of that in this and see what we come up with. It already smells good, so here's hoping. Okay, added in some green peppers, some tomatoes. One of the cans of tomatoes was just puree and the other one, not puree, yeah. Dice and the other one was diced with chilies. So, added some more adobo, added a little bit of pepper. Tastes and good. Let it simmer for a little bit, get a little bit more of the water out, and then we'll be ready to eat. Which is good because I'm actually kind of getting hungry. So, time for food. Okay, all the stuff is mixed together. Looking good. Tastes good too. So now we're going to just grab some bowls and I'm going to continue watching YouTube stuff and Tom's going to continue working on tests and stuff like that. So We're not going to really watch any TV or movie for this, but looks good and I'm ready to eat. Time for food. Good evening, guys. Uh, it's, been, it's now the end of a long day. <laughs> I got out of work about a half an hour late. We had a customer that took a little bit longer than we expected. Uh, for dinner, we just had some of the Stuff that we made earlier today, still very good. Um, I did have some ginger tea with some honey in it. It's helped. I really don't like the taste of ginger tea, but it does help. That's why we have it. And medicine doesn't isn't supposed to taste good, right? <laughs> but I'm still coughing. My throat's not sore, it's just coughing. And I hate it. Um... I need to stop saying um so much. <laughs> I do work tomorrow, 4 to 9, so it won't be as long of a shift. It's an hour shorter, but it's still work, so that makes me happy. Um, not sure what else to talk about, really. Hope you guys had a good day. I did. Had a pretty good day. But I am tired, so I'm going to bed. <laughs> Make sure you guys like, subscribe, leave comments, ask questions. I do like reading them, and I do like answering them. As you've seen, I'll even answer them on camera. I, I kind of like answering them on camera a little bit better than typing it out, because I can express myself a little bit better on camera than I can on in a text thing, comment stuff. But, see you guys tomorrow. Good night.